part three of getting started for Revit. Uh, what we're going to work on today is how to split and trim a wall. We're going to split this wall and then we're going to trim it. So if I want to split it first, I got to click the wall, highlight it, and then these tools pop up here. So if you hover over it, I can do a split element or I can split with a gap. I'm just going to do split element, come down here, split, and then I want to come up here and I want to trim it. So I'm going to click trim. I want to click the two walls I want to keep. I want to keep this wall and I want to keep this wall and it cuts it. So if I click this wall and this wall, it cuts this end off. So that's how the trim feature works. Um, so now I have the wall is drawn in. I'm going to come back in and draw the next wall. I need to draw another wall in here. So I got to go back to the architectural tab, click wall. Cool thing about this, let's say I don't want to go back there. If I click this wall and I type on the keyboard CS for create same, now I have that wall selected and I can come over here and I just click down. I didn't have to go up to architectural, click the wall, that wall I want, all that. I can just grab if I already have it in the project. I want this wall right here. I click the wall, I type CS on the keyboard, and now I can draw this wall again. That goes for anything in this project. If there's a toilet and I want the same toilet in a different bathroom, I click the toilet and I type CS for create same, and I, I have that toilet and I can draw, drop it into another uh, bathroom. So that's kind of a cool feature in Revit. And what you need to do is, we're not going to dimension this wall right now. Uh, this is fine for where it is. Uh, but we're going to go in and start putting doors in. So we're going to click the door tab up here. And an exterior door is uh, three feet wide. So we need a door that's at least three feet for the exterior. You can do the 80 inches or the 84, we're just, we'll do the 80 inch door. And when you do the door, exterior doors do swing in and you can place it anywhere on this wall right here. The reason why you want it swinging into this wall right here is because when you open the door, you want to be able to see all this space here. If I happen to have the door the other way, if I click on the door, let's say the door is like that, I open the door, my view is blocked over here, and I'm looking at this wall right here. So it's just kind of an, it's, it's better for uh, layout to have the door swing in and up against a wall if there is a wall there. If it's in the middle, it doesn't really matter, it's your preference. But the way you can flip flop the door to go out, swing outside, is click this arrow, it swings it outside, and swing the other direction. So make sure your swing of that door goes towards this wall. And that's how you would uh, place the door down. If you come in and want to dimension it, you can go outside edge to the middle of the door. Whoops. If I do a control, Z that does an undo but I want to click that oh you know what's happening I have the entire wall selected so I gotta go individual reference and I want to do wall faces outside edge to here and there and now I have my door selected reason why you might want to go to the edge of the door is because when you t measure it's a lot easier on the job to measure to one side of the door rather to the, than to the center of the door. Same thing with walls. Walls are kind of tough, but you see it a lot on blueprints where they measure to the center line of walls. Windows, you want to measure to the outside edge, not to the center. Sometimes you can, some blueprints, you'll see it measured to the center, so it's just a matter of preference. Um, but on the job site, sometimes it's easier to measure from outside edge into the uh, outside edge of your door. So now I have my door mentioned. One thing that didn't happen was I didn't have a tag on the door. There's no tag. So the way you uh, place a tag down is you can come up here and hit tag by category, attach a tag to element B. You hit the tag, and I'm going to hit tag. And now I have my door tag on this door. I'm going to hit escape twice, click, and I can move this tag. 
I can move the tag closer to the door. So now I know this is door one. Now I want a different door for these bedrooms. So we're gonna go in and place doors in the rest of the house. I need uh, an extra, I need an interior door. We can do uh, 32 or 34, doesn't really matter at this point. Let's just do a 32, 84 uh, inch door. And basically, see we're probably gonna have to move that wall eventually. See how you get that air conflicting joints. And click there and click there. We're gonna get that air. So what we need to do is grab this wall and just move it in a little bit so I can move that wall. And now if I click the door, I can use the arrows on the keyboard and I can move it over just a hair. And I wanna flip the swing to go towards the wall. And same thing with this door, I'm gonna use the arrows on the keyboard and I'm gonna click it over just a little bit. And here I'm gonna put this one, this door all the way against this wall on this side. And this is the bathroom. I do need one more door on exterior door over here. So I'm going to click this door right here because it's a 36 inch and I like the bigger door for exterior. Plus you do need at least one door that is 36 inches wide on an exterior wall. I'm going to hit CS and now I have a back door right here. Hit escape twice, click the door, flip the swing, and now I have a back door. And all my doors are uh, in the project. Uh, again, it didn't place tags down. Um, let's go back in and what's happening is, is I don't have tags enabled. So what you have to do is, you have to, my tag was not on. If you have this button tag on, when I place the door in, it tags the door, which I turned it off. So if I come over here and place the door down, you see how it tags it? Okay, because the tag was on. Well, when I place these in, there was no, the tag was not turned on. So what I need to do is come in and click this, and I'm going to hit tag category, and you can see, tag that door, tag, tag, and tag. And the number it gave it was the number, the door, the order I put it in. Whoops, so I didn't tag this door. There we go, tag. So I can go in and I can move these, but it's a lot easier if you have that tag already on when you place the doors in. So you don't have to go back and do this. You can also, I think, tag all at once. Now here's your doors, they're all tagged, ready to go. You need to go in and put windows in. So what we need to do is go to Window tab, and you're going to pick a fixed window is a window that has, uh, it will not slide, it won't open up. So those, technically those windows are not good for residential as far as bedrooms. Those are not uh, legal for a bedroom or for an area where you would need to get out. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go in and load windows.